crackly, yeah I need the crackly Driving like a Franklin, shooting like a Franklin Yeah I need the crackly, yeah I need the crackly Walking like a Franklin, smoking like a Franklin Franklin, 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 still Franklin, 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 still Except for my survive Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel I will be reacting to the newest one, Ultronic vs. Metal Sonic. And to be honest, I don't know which one will win, but if I actually know Ultron because was it Vibranium or Titanium or whatever he is, but even though his ridiculous abilities, was even though I will be posting uh um some screenshots of it, some of his feats because I because me me but Samurai and Alan Care we have been well they've been talking about basically Sil versus Ultra and I'm not sure which version they were using so if you two are watching the video comment down below um which version he was using but my gosh he's overpowering and OP as but yes, I will be saying with Voltron, but I have a feeling that Mel Sonic will win because of numerous reasons. <coughs> Come out, there are memory Mel Sonic. Um, but yeah, let's go on with this video right now. Welcome back I'm really to Versus Verdict, back. the show where I answer the burning question of who'd win in a fight before it ruins friendships forever. Now, I was going to do an episode on Metal Sonic vs. Ultron, but I got really confused on the way, on the research, so I'm probably just going to change the episode. Maybe... Alright, let's sec. Could put the brightness of this. Right there. So, we, so I can actually see things. I could be of assistance. Oh, hey, Jester Robot. Yeah, I would have you help, but what do you know about robots anyways? You're kidding, right? Oh, my. No, why? Just start the episode Whatever. already and I'll help you out. Whatever. Say so. <laughs> Hope you know what you're doing. Ultron, the adamantium antagonist of the adamantium. Avengers versus okay, Metal sorry. Sonic, the being that surpassed Sonic the Hedgehog. But before we can know who we win, we first need to well, analyze I wonder who else did that. <laughs> Ultron is one of the most popular villains that the Avengers ever faced. A good amount of his fame comes from the movie Age of Ultron, which pretty much had nothing to do with the comics. But we're not focusing on the movie version, we're focusing on the comic book version. But which comic book and which version of Ultron are we talking about? Well, we're going to be mostly focusing on Ultron 6, who is an upgraded version of Ultron 5. <laughs> Ultron's first appearance was in the Avengers comic, number 54, which came out in 1968. Ultron Hit by Thor's hammer defeated. Okay, yeah, I've seen that. He was disguised as a hooded Front figure vision well intangible. It was later revealed that he was a robot, <laughs> but he was actually working for I do remember Butler, at least Jarvis, two of these feet from the, 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 the clip right there. But later that Jarvis was under mind control by Ultron, who was really, really behind it all. <gasps> I love comics. Ultron was defeated in Avengers number 57 when he jumped into a wall. Not exactly his finest moment. Later, um, in Avengers okay. number 67, Ultron had Vision rebuild him, upgrading him into Ultron 6, who was pretty much like Ultron 5, but one difference. His body was made entirely out of adamantium. <gasps> and yes, he's one number higher. Wolverine's claws. But this was actually the first time adamantium was ever used. So really? Yes, Ultron originally Ooh, Wolverine, or Captain America's shield. that animalistic Canuck. Speaking of the Canuck, Wolverine took an explosion so powerful it melted all the skin and muscle off his bones. However, he still regenerated from it. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> not really. Of the human body. So assuming that Ultron has the same body type as Wolverine, Ultron would be 6.6 .6 times more durable than Wolverine. He even took a point blank attack from Claw and didn't even flinch. But that's just his he ability. He's also smart enough to create super powered robots like Vision, 
He can also control minds like he did with Jarvis, and he can even erase memories like he did with his creator, Hank Pym. Oh yeah, Hank Pym made Ultron, not Tony Stark. If that wasn't enough, he defeated Thor, Iron Man, Hank Pym, and the Watts all simultaneously. He took a hit from Thor's hammer and only got slightly dented. He can create <laughs> slightly, radioactive just atomic fire. Slightly. He fought Vision even when he was still intangible, and he hurt Thor with an energy blast. So look out for the adamantium warrior against the Avengers. Metal Sonic was created by Dr. Robotnik to be able to in every single way. Sonic is already easily faster than the speed of sound. But Metal Sonic is so much faster than him that many people believe he's about Mach 5. However, that's just a fan calculation. In the video game Sonic Unleashed, Sonic the Hedgehog could run at over 3000 SPD. Because this game was made in Japan, this most likely translates to metric meters, meaning Sonic could go at over 8 times the speed of sound, mm. or 10,800 kilometers per hour. However, yeah, Metal well, Sonic is faster than, him. than that. He traveled from one planet to another planet. He was going about Mach 35. And yes, you heard me correctly. He moved from a planet to another planet. In other words, he can fly. He has other abilities. So oh no, a it's teleportation. chest laser and a black shield so strong it can block F1 tornadoes. But if he needs more power, he can just look at his opponent. That black shield be pa more powerful than that. Now we can't copy anything, he does have physical limits. However, if there's something he can't handle, he can always transform. His most impressive transformation is his Metal Overlord form. A form so powerful, it took Knuckles, Tails, and Super Sonic to take him down. Not Super, super not, Sonic not is a Super Knuckles, not Super, super Tails, Super, or just over Super a Sonic. thousand times the speed of sound! By the way, in Sonic Unleashed, Dr. Eggman drained all the energy from Super Sonic and used all that chaos power to crack the Earth all over. And in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Shadow was planning on using the energy of the Chaos Emeralds to destroy the surface of the Earth. So it's very likely that Super Sonic at his full power could destroy the crust of the Earth. Jeez, you know a lot about Metal Sonic. Well anyways, that sure is definitely a reason not to challenge the being that surpassed Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright guys, if you need a <coughs> to think about uh, it, yeah, or yeah, yeah. your friends will want to take sides, okay. pause the video right now. I'm Bye -bye. going to go hoping. Ready? Hoping I'll make a mistake. Guys, let's find out who would win. Yeah, 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 no one cares. Oh my gosh, you're pretty fast versus suit. <laughs> Too small, so I'm not gonna be <laughs> Bye. That was a ton of fun. Big thanks to the MLG Avocado for animating this. Make sure you go again and yeah. subscribe. Now I agree with the outcome, but why do you think that he won? Metal Sonic was able to go toe to toe with Super Sonic, who is powerful enough to destroy the crust of the Earth. But Ultron has shrugged off hits from Thor's hammer. Exactly, and Thor's hammer has damaged the Silver Surfer. Plus, even though his adamantium body too. Galactus is, well, you know, Galactus. <laughs> the Silver Surfer has taken multiple Thor's <laughs> busted attacks. Also, we can prove he has this damage potency because we can scale from Silver Surfer to Thor to Ultron. Silver Surfer <laughs> once fought a clone of himself and kept damaging himself. Therefore, he must be able to surpass his own durability, which equals out to about Solar System level plus. And Silver Surfer has hit Thor, making Thor's durability at least Solar System plus. So because Ultron damaged Thor, well, you get the idea. So even when it's extremely lowballed, Ultron's attack potency and durability would be far higher than Metal Sonic could ever get to. And for Metal Sonic holding the speed advantage, that's actually very debatable. Metal Sonic could keep up with Super Sonic, 
but if we use the same scaling from Silver Surfer to Thor to Ultron, we find that Silver Surfer once fought a clone of himself while they were both riding on the same board that he uses to escape galaxies in mere seconds. Which means that Silver Surfer, in order to combat himself, would need to be flying and reacting to speeds that are massively faster than light. Thor has taken on Silver Surfer and still beat him to the ground. And Ultron has tagged Thor. While Metal Sonic may or may not yeah. hold the travel speed advantage, there's no way he holds the combat speed advantage. In the end, Ultron sent Metal Sonic back to the scrapyard. Winner? Oh my god. Ultron. It, well, I think that I'm so happy went with Ultron. Ultron. Thanks for letting me be on your channel, Diphenoid. Hey, thank you for helping out so much with the episode. Also, if you guys aren't already, I'll leave a link to Just a Robot's channel in the description. 21 awesome subscribers? So sure go subscribe to his channel and his second channel. Now for the <laughs> moment you've all been waiting for. Next up, on the season finale of Versus Verdict. Go hosting by Animation Rewind. Sweet. But I don't know, I'm scared of his opponent. The guy that surpasses all limits to break his more limits. Versus. Kill me now. Kill me now. But again, this is all depending on which version you are using for Superman. Oh my gosh. Kill me now. Kill, Kill me now. <laughs> I'll go. Huh? And I told him? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Are you trying? Are you trying to get backlash on this hey guys, next video? Be Diphenoid, and that's right, the moment is upon us. Time to go vote for who will win the season finale of Versus Verdict. And no, I don't care that this has been overdone because there's still a ton of idiots out there that are misinformed, and I need to tell them exactly <laughs> why all of them are wrong. If you still don't think there's anyone out there who honestly doesn't all agree on this, then just go to Facebook and ask them who would win in a fight between these characters and see just the absolutely horrendous responses you get. But anyways, you guys got the point for this one. Congratulations. So make sure you go vote in the next straw poll and win the season prize. finale of Versus Verdict. Can't wait to see you there. Well, get ready for DC and One Punch Man comments. Because, oh boy, screw attack. Oh, because of the Goku vs. Superman part 1 and 2. But yes, guys, that'll do it for this video. If you like this video, call. Please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, where you used to watch this video. Punch that screen, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it whenever I get the chance. And without further ado, guys, peace out.